This video explains some of the features of the proposed investigator engagement platform and provides a quick overview for our vision of how the platform should be built. For this demo, we used a web version of the platform that will have a responsive design and provide the screenshots for the native Android application. When users launch the mobile application or go to the application website, they must enter their credentials to log into the system. There will be several types of users with functionality available based on their roles, investigators, study managers, and system administrators. This video demonstrates the platform's capabilities for investigators. Initially, the platform's administrators grant credentials to all new investigators. When investigators log in, they see their profile page with all the studies they have been enrolled in at the top, along with the study progress. A study manager can assign studies to a site or a particular investigator so that they appear in the list next to the existing ones. The platform allows creating questions for investigators and shows them when investigators are entering the system. Users have to answer the questions before they can move on to the system. Polling can be set up for all users of the platform as well as only for a specific category of users. Polling can be a powerful tool to build an investigator persona or gather important data. All captured answers are kept in a database so that it can be used later to analyze results and gain insights. There is also a news section below that with general content from the sponsor. On the left hand side there is also a menu featuring links to instant messaging with study peers and the sponsor study management team a personal calendar and tasks across all studies, deployed applications, and settings for a given person. Once the investigator has chosen a specific study from the list, they are taken to the study dashboard. The dashboard incorporates information about key study metrics and milestones, upcoming study tasks, a calendar, a Q&A section, and a leaderboard. Key metrics, such as patient recruitment and patient retention and others, along with the next milestone dates, are represented in the form of easy-to-digest visual charts and graphs. The application connects to other systems that are deployed for the given study to retrieve relevant data to build these elements. The key metrics can be shown for a given site or the entire study. Below, the investigator can find a list of upcoming tasks tagged with a particular milestone if they belong to any. This list is managed by the study manager. Investigators can mark a task as completed, which has to be confirmed later by the study manager. Once done, the completed milestones are posted to the study newsfeed. The calendar is a visual representation of all study activities for a given period of time. It displays information about task deadlines, meetings, patient visits scheduled, and milestones that have been configured by the study managers, administrators, and the investigators themselves. When the user hovers over an item in the calendar, they can see additional information about this item. The calendar will synchronize with the native mobile application so that the user gets reminders even if the platform is closed. The Q&A section allows investigators to submit questions to the study community. Once approved by the study manager, they can be addressed by either the study manager or other investigators. Questions appear on the dashboard according to the latest updates, and answered questions will also appear in the newsfeed. Investigators can see a complete list of Q&As by following the link at the bottom of this section. The study leaderboard demonstrates how investigators or sites in the study stack up against each other based on the points they have collected by attending important meetings, taking trainings, completing significant milestones ahead of deadlines, application usage, and so on. Involving investigators into a natural competition between each other so that they become more engaged with the study, the leaderboard serves as one of the most important gamification features of the platform. The meeting module allows investigators to take part in significant study events such as initiation meeting, trainings, and conferences scheduled up front by the sponsor. When an investigator clicks on the meeting button in the menu, they see the list of upcoming and recent meetings arranged by the lead time. All meetings that are required to attend hold a specific label. In addition, there is a minimum amount of points for each event that the investigator may collect taking part in the event and discussions. For the recent meetings, it is supposed that the content will be available to investigators on demand. 
The header banner contains information about either the nearest meeting or the one that is currently being hosted. Clicking on any meeting banner leads to a dedicated meeting page with descriptive information including the topic, the agenda, speakers, the place, time and date. If a particular meeting is now live, investigators can join it by clicking the Go to Meeting button. On the meeting page, there is a bar with the current presentation at the top, the meeting agenda with details below where the investigator can set a reminder about a particular presentation, and a section with a tender list and the live discussion currently happening. An additional tab, Questions, appears here in the session mode, allows investigators to ask questions. There are two possible scenarios suggested for live meetings. The investigator is either physically at the venue or off-site. The meet and page holds a QR code with a unique ID that the investigator can use to easily check in at the registration deck. Later, they are still able to use the online mode, which expands the on-site meeting experience. When the investigator joins the presentation online by clicking the Go to Session button, they see the slides for the presentation that is currently ongoing. As the speaker moves through the presentation, the slides will change on the investigator's device. In the meantime, they will be able to scroll the slides back and forth. For the future, we suggest having a notes section under the slideshow that allows investigators to put notes on each slide with no hassle and return to them once the meeting has ended. Another feature for live meetings, which increases the engagement of the audience, is polling. When the speaker reaches a certain slide in the presentation, when the polling is supposed to happen, a screen with a question appears on the investigator's device. Question types may be virtually any, from yes or no, to multiple choice, to open questions. If the investigator is not using the platform, they can vote for the answers via text into a specific phone number provided by the organizers. After the answers are collected, the polling results are shown on the slide. The Show Video Stream button launches the frame with live streaming if such is provided by the organizers. The Headset button enables audio streaming and launches the control bar, which has buttons for upvoting the presentation and asking questions. It is also available for presentations that have ended, in addition giving the user playback control. This bar remains on top across the platform, as well as when the application is minimized or the mobile device screen is locked, so that the investigator can listen to the recorded presentation while checking other sections in the platform or looking at the system they have been trained on. There is a leader section in the vertical menu available for high-performing investigators based on their ranking in the leaderboard. When someone who does not meet the criteria set forth by the sponsor clicks on it, they see a screen that explains what the leader module is, the premium features offered by it, and what they need to do to get access. Once the investigator makes, for instance, the top 5, they get a leader badge and the icon turns gold, which means that premium features are now available. These highly valuable features for investigators are Firstly, an access to the community to speak with other leaders about the latest innovations within the investigator's therapeutic area. The sponsor will be able to additionally strengthen rapport with his investigators by providing thought leadership, such as sharing insights into the scientific rationale behind studies done in these fields, the outcomes of completed studies, and scientific discoveries. Secondly, suggest ideas for investigator-initiated trials and ask for funding. Thirdly, submit articles to be published, and the sponsor will then decide on the level of exposure, either across the study or across all studies and beyond. Finally, suggest topics and speaker engagement opportunities for future events. The possibility of implementing various reward programs as to the sponsor's specific preferences makes the platform a cornerstone for investigator engagement. There are also several screens for the meeting module in the dashboard on the Android mobile app. For instance, the investigator can easily access and look through different sections in the dashboard by swiping between them. The functionality on the mobile application will be similar to that of the web platform. You can try out the prototype by following the link and using the password provided on the screen. Thank you for your attention.